直接就讲开始了，好吧、嗯、？Hello， 大家好，欢迎收看我们今天的直播，我是 CGTN 的李晶晶。Hello, I'm Li Jingjing with CGTN. I'm Zhu Lanzhou with CCTV. So right now we are at the Bali Prefecture and also the Jiangchuan Ancient City. This ancient city boasts over 600 years history. All of these ancient buildings caps a flame of the Ming Dynasty and Qing Dynasty. The dominant residence here is the ethnic Bai minority group. So. That is reason why all of these architect is called a living museum of the Bai minority group. Today, let's step into these ancient cities with 600 years history. It is raining right now because for the Yunnan province, it has a rain which is covered for over six millimeters. And before our live streaming. Let's enjoy some of the local tea. Let's work into this tea house. Currently, we are about to enter into the place called Jianyang Kezhan, Jianyang Hotel. It has kept the architect flavor of the Ming Dynasty and Qing Dynasty. All the gates is boosted and enjoyed all of the fine carvings from the Ming and the Qing Dynasties. It's just like. Me traveling past time, so I believe a lot of visitors are quite enjoying this hotel, even under this rainy weather. So, is anybody here? This beautiful corridor with the Chinese legends of the ancient flavors has brings us back into the Ming and Qing dynasty. Welcome. So, can you introduce us? What are you doing here? We are trying to make some of the Fei Yan tea. Can you share a cup of tea with us? So, please be seated. Sitting here in this rainy day, in this ancient tea house. It's a quite warm thing. So you told me this is called Fei Yan tea. Is it a local tea? Because the tea is made from the black pottery. So the Fei Yan is. What we call flying eyes in the Chinese word. So here you would see the thoughts. These are the thoughts that we explored from the inland thought well. We put this thought here, burn it. So that is to say, we need to. Borrow the tea in this water. So you, that is to say, we have boasted all the、uh, tea and also all the salt blocks in the furnace, and we put the salt block in the furnace. We have also roasted some of the potatoes. Sitting next to the furnace, burning the teas and eating the potatoes is a local way of enjoying themselves. It is actually a local afternoon tea. Actually, the tea they were serving is poor tea. It is one way to drink the poor tea, and for the poor tea, it is best to be served with black. Pasolins. It can bring up the flavors of the poor further. So this is also the first time I saw、uh, people adding salt into the tea. I think it has anti-inflammatory effect. I think it's quite tasty. Is it、uh, so? 
from my perspective, I want to ask: Is it okay to? I think the the tea we, uh, is going to smooth you throughout. It has a magical taste. It tastes like wheat tea. Although he has added huge blocks of the tea, uh, huge blocks of the salt, but it's not very salty. It smells just like the wheat tea. So it is being blessed with a unique type of flavors. It is nothing like all the poor tea that I used to drink. I'm not a tea lover, but I think this tea has a quite unique flavor compared with other different teas. Is this tea only unique to the ethnic Bai minority group, or is this tea belongs to the Jiangshan County? I think it belongs to the Jiangshan County. This tea cannot be, the flavor cannot be brought out by hot water. You need to boil it. So is this salty block quite unique to the local county? Yes, we have picked up this tea and this salt from the local inland salt well. So this is actually the crystals from the bottom of the port. Every time we have we have uh, roasted the tea, there is a block of the tea hanging in the surface of the port, and then they break it. For every 15 days, the crystallization accumulated, and it finally achieved,、um, and it is finally formed. So you will find the sense of the papers and also a combined flavor of the tea, because these tea crystals is being. Formed through the long-term cooking, I believe that it is very, it is of high flavors. So I am wearing the typical clothes of the ethnic Bai minority. I think it's upgraded wearing. We don't wear such a colorful clothes in the ethnic Bai minority group. But currently, to celebrate, we wear this kind of clothes, the clothes in red. Can you tell us the features of the Bai minority group's clothes? I think one important feature is our unique hat. We have that rabbit-shaped hat. Why do we wear rabbit-shaped hat? There is not much population here in the ethnic Bai minority group. <laughs> so we hope that we could enjoy the blessing lives and prosperous lives as rabbit. So can you tell us what are you doing right now? So I think I'm actually practicing the provincial intangible assets. I'm doing it through the handcraftsmanship. <laughs> So you could see the ears, or it's a symbol of the hat. It is very vivid. I have filled it in the with the traditional Chinese herb. Do you do it in your daily life? I think our teacher could do a finer and better and more elaborate work than I do. I think all the women in the ethnic Bai minority group can do this work, but we are only doing this simple type. At the very beginning, we have do it to celebrate the Dragon Boat Festival. We are making these special bags. To pray for happiness, 
because we have filled it with traditional Chinese herb. It is going to help those who wear it to dispel the mosquito's bite. So is this a lion sheep? So what does it mean? I think shi zi and lion is meaning prosperity in the traditional Chinese culture. We have made this to celebrate weddings and celebrate the new birth of a baby. It is very elaborate and complicated. It boosts all kinds of colors. So I think the girls and the ladies in the ethnic minority group has a lot of talents. Thank you. So can you tell us your name? I'm Yang. Are you a local people? Yes, I'm born and bred here. So can you tell me your name? I'm Zhang Changbao. <laughs> I think you are wearing a special wet. It belongs to the clothing features of the ethnic bi minority group. Can I have another cup of tea? It is very tasty. And I think from my uh, perspective, the tea water is not clear and transparent. There are some of the minerals in the tea water. You have mentioned that the Fei Yan tea must be brought through this black pottery. And only by this black pottery, it will bring out the flavors of the Fei Yan tea. So the black pottery is made by my uncles. I can bring you to the furnace of the black pottery. If we want to roast the tea, I believe that the black pottery has a very good refrigeratory effect compared with other different ceramic and, and porcelains. It is actually bringing the fragments of the tea. So the black pottery is also a wear a tea wear unique in the ethnic minority group. Black pottery is one of the intangible cultural assets in the minority by group. We are using it to make the tea wares, kitchen wares. Can you show us the furnace? Let's head there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your tea. This is a very beautiful closing. Thank you for your tea. It is a very beautiful yard. So are you from Jianchuan's local people? Yes, I'm local Jianchuan people, and I am from the Bai minority group. My name is Li Hao, and you can call me Xiao Li. <laughs> Can you show us around? Ah, thank you. Can you tell us how did you made the, the this black pottery? I think it is made of the white. Gluten mud from the nearby mountains. If this kind of a mud have the white color or the yellow color, so I think when we trying when we were digging or exploring the mud, 
It used to be white or yellow, but after we refine it, it turns into the black pottery. We put this ware into the furnace after thousands of the times of the breedings and furnacing. I believe the finally the black pottery takes its shape. The black pottery is also very healthy when it is being used as a kitchenware because there is a lot of minerals contained in the black pottery. And I think across the country, all the black pottery wares you are seeing is made from the white mud from our ethnic group. This is also a beautiful square. I think if you follow my right hand, there is a very good operation. There is a very good opera stage, and this opera stage is boosted with the ancient flavors from the Qing and Ming Dynasty. That is the reason why we call it a living museum of the ethnic by minority group because everywhere we worked into it is demonstrating the way of ethnic by minority people's life. For the Jiandu County, 95% of the population is belongs to the ethnic by minority group and the rest 5% covers the Han group among other different ethnic group. I think, totally speaking, there is 150,000 to 160,000 local ethnic by minority people here. I think the raining atmosphere makes the ancient city a unique flavor. This is also my first trip to Yunnan. I believe the province of Yunnan boasts its name, including the size of the cloud. It is just like what poet Tao Yuanming has written. The local county has blue skies, white clouds, I think the local by minority group's architect is also being decorated with white color. And in the by minority group, the majority of the architect is being designed into three apartments and one kitchen. So if we follow this camera, you will see these views, just like what we are seeing in the different film clips. This is also a very beautiful yacht. It is the quadrangle dwellings of the bi minority group. Here you can feel the unique flavors of the bi minority group. So why you are here? Because I travel a lot. That's the reason why I'm traveling to the Jiantuan ancient city of Dali. I'm already starting to make the black pottery, waiting for all of you to be here with me. So here, let me introduce you. She is one of the internet celebrities. Recording all of her travels, it is a very special bond between me and also the TV series. So can you tell us what can you tell us what I'm doing right now? We call it a black pottery cat. So he is my teacher. Can you say hello to our, all of our viewers? I'm Chen Yao. I think you have also wear the special white for the ethnic by minority group. 
That is that saying that you also belongs to the ethnic by minority group. Yes, let's do it together. For the black portraits, you are here for the right time because I have already made the shape for you from the black portraits, especially in the coating process and the portion process. But you can. Also, let your imagination fly. For example, if you want to make the rabbit onto a big air, you can also follow your own imagination and do your own black boundary. I think without teachers, we are nothing here. I used to play at the seaside. I believe I have a talent for making this. Portraits and kitchen wares. Can you introduce introduce me your friend? This is、uh, Nai Zhou from the CCTV. So I'm going to call you Jin Jin. How about you sitting beside me and we do this black portrait together to give more room for our teacher to teach us and demonstrate us. This is the final work. I think it is very welcome, very well welcomed in China and abroad. Many different foreign visitors, once they pay a visit to the Jiangshan County, they will buy one of these black cat pottery by themselves. When I saw this black pottery, I am decided to make one of my own. So where did you get the mud? I think in the local mountain, we are boosted with this kind of special mud. So are we making the eyes of the cat? Yes, we are making this on top of the white cement. <laughs> so this is what we call the traditional cat black portrait. We can also see the nozzles of the black. There's a lot of blessings from this black portrait cat. It means prosperity, wealth for the local people. It is attracting the wealth to your own house. That's the reason why people have made one of these black pottery cat in their own home. So how about you sitting beside me and telling me how to make it? We are going to make this white cement into the black pottery. We can let our imagination play its role here. So we also need the assistant from the teacher. Otherwise, we will never finish it. I think the model is very hard for me to play it and shape it. It is of a natural color. I think Jingjing is quite lagging behind. How about you give a helping hand to Jingjing? I think we are going to make two black pottery cat. The shape of the black pottery cat is going to be decided by all the creators. We are going to make a big one and also a small one. For the black a pottery cat, I also believe their eyes and their nozzles are in the same line. We feel that we are in a competition. So for all of those friends who are watching us live streaming, let me reiterate again that we are making the traditional black. Pottery, and here we are at the Dali Autonomous Prefecture in the Yunnan Province. Currently, three of us is doing the black pottery cat on top of the white cement from the local region. 
So we are learning from a local teacher about how to make this black bordery cat. So what are we doing? Going to do next? After making up the eyes, we are going to shift our focus on the teeth. First, we like to draw a small mud block. <laughs> what should I do? You should just watch. This is what we made for the tooth of this cat. Currently, we are making up the tooth for this. Making up the teeth for this black pottery cat. Since you are all of you are, since all of you are meeting up with me here, I think we are not going to sex, be successfully making this black pottery cat. I think we should follow our own ideas to make our own black pottery cat. We also have the two big tooth here. How do I make out of these two black? A two tooth. I also need to make a small wedge here. So should I cut from here? I'm making up the. I'm actually carving the tooth of this black pottery cat. We also need to attach the special black tooth. I think it is doable. Use your hand. I'm also doing this kind of work. This has reminded me of my kindergarten days. I think I'm earlier than all of you, and I learned a lot before you. So it is my turn to be a teacher. I also heard our teacher said that will do. Um, so I think. That indicates we are not that talented student. So can you show us what are you doing here? I'm making the roasted tea. I think we were drinking that black pottery tea, and that black pottery was made from made from him. So I think he's making the roasting pot, and after the tea is being roasted, we refine the pottery and polish it on the surface to remove all the watery comp uh, components in the pottery. I think it's not difficult for me to do it here, but at this stage, the mud is quite soft. I'm also going to carve a few hands here. So I'm actually adding up the handles on this black pottery. Should I add some of the glutens? I don't think it's necessary. I think I have finished the first step. This is very difficult. I think I'm not smart enough, or my hand is not flexible enough to make this black pottery. You are not going to be able to pull up this pottery just like me. I think it will take. Three years to practice, and after we put this black pottery models into the furnace, it will take another eighty hours to twenty-four hours to finally to wait. The black pottery takes its shape. Sometimes, with the appropriate temperature, 
the shape is going to form within 16 to 17 hours or even to 21 hours. I believe the black pottery belongs to the categories of low-temperature pottery. And every time we put it into the furnace, we actually set up the temperature at 1,000 degrees centigrade. It is a gradually forming process. So how long have you been focusing on this blood pottery? I started to do the black pottery when I was in my middle school in the 1970s. I graduated from middle, middle school in the 1977. So if we look back to the 1977, that is to say I've been working on the black pottery for over 40 years. <laughs> so this is the tea wares. So I'm only doing the ear part. And I think the teacher is doing you black pottery cat. I'm going to attach my ear parts. I think the shape is gradually forming. <laughs> Let's wait for the moment. We could see the black pottery cat gradually taking its shape. And I think Susu is also doing a good job. It is very cute. The cat has a long ear, has two long ears. So here I have a question for the viewers. We have walked into this yard, and as one of the one of the local people mentioned about the functions of this black pottery cat, what does it mean? How? What do you, do we make of this black pottery cat? What do they make for the local people? So if you have an answer, please leave the answer in the chat box. And uh, after this live streaming, we are going to select a few lucky audience to give you some of the gifts. So let's have a track along the yard. And I'm going to leave this black pottery craft work to our teacher. I think we can actually uh, clean our hand using this tower. I actually, I'm quite keen to make my own black pottery cat. It is about time to say goodbye to our teachers, and I'm going to hang out with you guys. I am expecting something nice to eat. So we are going to find where this black cat pottery will appear. Let's start our treasure hunt. I'm going to come back for you. See you, and I'm going to see you soon. <laughs> I think you are doing a quite cute work. So this way, please. Because at the very beginning, he actually talks to us. There's a lot of local people using the black cat pottery. The black cat pottery is also a part of the local people's life. So where do people use it? 
What is the function of the black cat poultry? I think once you watch our programs and once you think about it, you are going to find your own answer. Where have you been? We have been to the tea house. It is a very beautiful tea house, blessed with all kinds of the ancient dwelling features, and there's one tea maker who will dare to make the Feiyan tea, and the Feiyan tea is made of the local salts. Is it taste salty? It's not that salty, because he has dropped a huge block of the salt into the teapot. But finally, the tea, tea tasted like just like wheat tea. It has its own flavors and aromas. It is like a blessing or a mix between poor tea and also the wheat tea. I like to travel, and I've been travel to many different places in Yunnan province. I've been to the Towers, and I've been to Lijiang and Kunming, and I think Dali is quite unique, especially when I find the Jiangchuan ancient city. It is a very unique and special small place, and I think making the Feiyan tea is also going to be one of my one item on my wish list. I also think. That we could make an image of this black bordery cat into the cartoon images representing the local county. So, have you have a taste of the Mosu season of the Yunnan? I think Yunnan is very cold, a city on the province of the flowers. That's the reason why. When I came here, I had bring my down jacket with me. Although it belongs to the southern part of China, although Yunnan is located in a lower latitude, but even if you are here, we suggest you to bring your light. Down jacket. I think they are blessed with the beautiful yards, ancient cultures, different flavors of the ethnic groups. When the rain drops, you will feel a sense of leisure. What is happening in front of us is quite blessing. We have the raining water, green plants. Golden fish. All of these buildings is not built literally. It is the ancient buildings kept intact until today. All the ancient flavors is being preserved and kept until today. If we recommend all of the tourists to be here, we highly recommend a slow wandering into this ancient town. Drink some tea, make some of the black pottery, have a taste of the local culture. I really like the intangible cultural asset. That's the reason why I'm here. I think it's the place that you need to empty your mind and slow your pace down. Watching the rainy seasons of Delhi is going to keep you away from the noises of the city. The ancient city, to be frankly, is blessed with all kinds of flavors. You are mentioning one thing quite important. There is a lot of ancient cities in China, but this is the only town that is quite unique to all of us. I've been to many different ancient cities. There is a lot of commercial restaurants and commercial shops. All of them are selling the same things. But for this ancient city and ancient town, Jiangchuan ancient city, there is not so much commercial shops. <laughs> it is very suited to make a film. I would see a lot of local by minority people. 
crossing over the different streets. That's the reason why I highly recommend all of you to find this ancient city and place. If you find, if you want to find somewhere not cramming with people, but boosted with the ancient flavors, we highly recommend you to come into Jiangshan City. <laughs> I'm going to show you one of the important features of the Jiangshan ancient city. The length is very short, and when people are crossing by, they need to、uh, turn their body around. These are the walls. That has been standing here for the past 100 years. So we think we we are four people in one group, but we think we are the largest group of people in this ancient city. You could see that not so much visitors here in this city. That's the reason why we need to observe. So this way, please. 前面就是何家大院吧。哦，何家。We are going to enter into the 何家 yard、哦。就一问，街上的人都知道。哦，还有刚刚我做瓦猫的那个。哦哦，小心。那那个故居啊，也很好。是周中岳先生的故居。哎，是的。道路已经越来越狭窄了。我们看到路牌，何家大院酱菜坊，由此进入酱菜坊。<笑> so we are about to enter the He household compound. 长了好多这个小小草。你再往这边看一看，我觉得好像。So please look into this way. 对。We are approaching our answers. 哇，这有。哦，真的是看到了大门。Oh, we could see this black cardboard way, and we are approaching the He household compound. So here we have a lot of. We are we are seeing the block, demonstrating the He household compound. So let's look into the roof. From where I am, I could see the black cat portrait. Let's walk inside to find what is what it is. Once we walked into this yard, we could feel the sense of the history coming into our face. Pumpkin. This is a household blessed with the sense of family. I am the owner of this He household compound. So how should do we call you? My name is He Chang. After the household names of He, I'm the owner of this compound. It is my house. Well, this is your house. I cannot imagine that. So that is the black cat portrait. The black cat portrait. The black cat in the ethnic by minority group. We are also calling it a cat of prosperity. Let's give a special screenshot of the black cat. That is where they locate the black cat. The black cat is the fortune cat in the bi minority group's household. It is going to spell the evils, attract the fortunes, and bring the good fortune for the whole household. This is a very beautiful yard. Can I have a visit to your own home? We have a lot of green plantations here. I can feel your love for life. So how about we step ahead? <laughs> Wow! This is what? We are 
出手机。我跟你讲啊，来得巧，不是来得早，不是来得巧。哇，你说说，怎么说是哪天？ I think we are very honored that the the owner of this house has prepared a dinner for all of us. With the local dishes. I'm going to sit here and enjoy the food. And all the dishes has a quite blessing names. We like to invite our photographers to give a more closer look to what is demonstrated or waiting for us on the table. This is the traditional bai dish, and we call it, we call we are calling it eight dishes in the bai minority group. So where and what kind of scenario do we use it? We use it. We use the eight different dish to celebrate funerals and weddings. I want to sit here and taste the food. Are there a special name for these eight dishes? I think these eight different dishes celebrate the prosperities, long-term love, and happy family, harmonious relations for the different households. And the final dish is a soup to celebrate the gathering gatherings of the mother and son. I think for each of the dish, it has a very blessed name. For example, we heard the name of of the blessing families. All of them. We have also celebrate the romantic relations between the lovers. Can we have a guess of the different names for the different dishes? So I believe this pork is celebrating the. Prosperity of the household. I'm going to have a second guess. This is the soup celebrating the mother and the motherhood. I'm going to give a third guess. I think the fried pork is celebrating the last love. So, because this dish is being made of lilies, and lily means by he in China, it indicates a hundred years love and relation between the spouses. We are we cannot help ourselves. We cannot wait, but to have a bite of all of these dishes. I believe the fish that we are cooking here is from the high altitude plateaus. So here we have the mushrooms and tofu. So I think we are using the acronym of the mushroom to celebrate the prosperity and the harmony of the household. I believe after a long day, we are all quite tired. I'm going to have a taste of the pork first. So I think this fried pork enjoys the acronym for. Comfort and also the blessings of the household. I think under the fried pork, 
there is also we all have also combined some mushrooms to ease the flavor. I think the dipping and filling sauces is blessed with the Yunnan's own flavor. This is actually the pig's liver part. <laughs> so how should we call you, An Kao He? You are blessed with such a beautiful compound. I think the compound was built in the Qing Dynasty. It has been handed over to me through my family line. I am the 57th generation of this compound. We heard the traditional Bai minority group have a feature of the four different yards. So we belong to the four compounds and the five different wheels. That is to say, generally speaking, we have five wheels, one wheel in the middle and four wheels in the different four corners of this house. I think it is a house of 600 square meters. 600 square meters. I'm actually quivering for that. How many people is living here? Five of us. I think it's actually quite unimaginable if we are living in a big city. We are sitting here watching the rain, enjoy the food. It is a very comfortable way of life. It is. I, I'm actually enjoying this kind of life every day. So there are 17 of the generations of us living here. Have you thinking of mowing out? We, I have never think about that. Why aren't you think about that? I think the city <laughs> rhythm is too fast for me. I cannot catch up with the rhythm of the big city. So how about you, sons and you, daughter? They also find a job in the Jiantuan County. They are not far away from me. We are. We have a very harmonious relation with each other. It's a such huge compound, blessed with a historic flavor. If somebody wants to buy you compound with a high price, are you going to sell it? No, I'm not going to sell it. And the ethnic by minorities groups feeling we need to cap the household from our ancestors. Of course, we are willing to think about other way to commercialize the compound. I can make it into a hotel, but I'm not thinking about selling it because it's a fortune passed down from my family line. I think at the gate we saw a plate, a board, mentioning that this is what we call the He household compound. What do you featuring on? What is the family business? Actually, in the family, we are providing the pickles and also seasoning flavors for the people in the county. Do we do it in our yard? Yes, sometimes after we finish it in our yard, we are actually selling it online. <laughs> From then on, we are not going to broadcasting and live streaming the beautiful sceneries anymore. We are going to transform our show into a show for eating. So, An Kang He, you should also eat together with us. 
好的，好，好，来来来，好好好。嗯So this is、uh, let's see together and I'm proposing a toast to everybody, and I believe this toast is also blessed all kinds of the viewers online. I did not guess out some of the dishes. So I am actually asking all the different viewers in front of us which dish is called Qing Yi Mian Mian. If you have an answer, please leave a message in our chat room. We are going to find the lucky viewers and send you a small gift with the ethnic by minority groups feature. So the second question is which dish is a blessed real name? This is what we call a the blast vegetable. This is what we call the su hua vegetable. We are blessed with this vegetable because the local environment is quite good. We want to thank the director to allow us to eat some of the dishes while we are live, live, live streaming. I have another question for you, Susu. You have been traveling to many different places in Yunnan. Since you are in Jiangchuan, Anshan City, and in Dali, you will feel that it is quite different. What does it differ from other different places? To be frankly, once I entered into the city, I want to stay here forever. I want to dialogue, or I want to talk with the time. I've been staying in the noisy metropolitans for years. I cannot stop my mind about thinking. But once once I entered into the ancient Jiangchuan town, I can slow myself down. I can write. I can paint, and enjoy myself. And here we are also blessed with all kinds of the clean airs, and it's a very clean city. There's not so much mud, even if it is raining. Drinking some of the teas. I feel that I can enjoy myself here. <laughs> I'm also going to stay here together with you. We can be neighbors for this city. So can you show us which dish is called Qing Yi Mian Mian, a happy union? This one. We have not imagined that. Is it noodles or rice noodles? It is belongs to the categories of rice noodles. So here, the noodles is being decorated with the element of yin and yang, celebrating the happy union. This is the dish made of rice noodles, made of beans. If you can have an answer about that, I believe that. You are going to enjoy this show today. We are blessed with drinkings, alcohols, teas, and also the great food from the Bai Minority Group. If you are watching this live streaming, you will feel that the Jiangchuan ancient town has kept the flavor of the time, and I believe 95% or 90% of the Local population belongs to the ethnic minority group. It is a very good window for you to understand the local by minority groups' way of life. If you are enjoying the eight dishes and you can, if you want to make some of the black borders here, if you find want to find some where where time stops, welcome. 
to the Jianchuan Entrance City of Dali Autonomous Region of Yunnan Province. Thank you very much to watch our live streaming. After the, this live streaming, we are going to find several different lucky viewers to give you the gift. We are going to enjoy our dish. Thank you very much for watching.